My name is Massimo De Vittorio and I coordinate the laboratory at the Center for Biomolecular Nanotechnologies of the Italian Institute of Technology. We work on micro nano devices and systems for neuroscience and for artificial biomimetic senses. Here we are going to talk to you about a new optogenetic tool developed in the frame of a collaboration between our institute in Lecce and the Sabatini Lab at the Harvard Medical School in Boston. In our recent work in Neuron, we have demonstrated the dynamic and independent optogenetic stimulation of different brain regions by a single nanomachined tapered optical fiber. My name is Ferruccio Pisanello and what we present in the volume 82, issue 6 of Neuron is a minimal invasive optogenetic device called multipoint emitting optical fiber. In most in vivo optogenetic experiments, Light is delivered into the brain through a single optical fiber, whose emission is highly divergent and limited to a single volume of the brain. Our device is instead based on a tapered optical fiber, ethnic with a tapered diameter as small as 500 nanometers. The tapered region, about 1 mm long, is covered with a refractive metal in order to avoid uncontrolled leakage of light. A focused ion beam is then used to locally remove the metallic coating and part of the underlying material, thus opening small optical windows along the taper. This allows guided light to outcouple in the surrounding media at specific points. Light emission from each window can be selected by simply changing the input coupling angle at the distal end of the fiber. For low coupling angles, light can propagate all along the fiber and side emission is allowed only at the window closest to the tip. For higher input angles, instead, the modal selection and manipulation process taking place into the taper gives rise to light out coupling at windows farther from the taper tip. This allows fast switching between windows whose frequency is limited only by the optomechanical setup used to change the input coupling angle. The method proposed in this paper can be customized for specific experimental needs by adjusting the size, the shape and the relative placement of the windows. Multipoint emitting optical fibers also allow for multiple wavelengths to be used at the same time to enable simultaneous stimulation and inhibition of neural activity through the same waveguide. For instance, by injecting both blue and yellow lasers at two different angles, their emission is obtained at two different windows. In the paper, we show that up to three windows can be independently controlled. The multipoint fibers were fabricated at the Center for Biomolecular Nanotechnologies of the Italian Institute of Technology by using a focused ion beam, and then they were coupled to a linear microelectrode array for extracellular recording for in vivo tests, performed at Harvard Medical School. My name is Bernardo Sabatini. I run a research group at Harvard Medical School. Like many neurobiology labs, we strive to understand the relationship between the behavior of an animal and the activity of neurons in its brain. Optogenetics has allowed us to probe the function of molecularly and genetically defined neurons within the mammalian brain. However, it's been difficult to use this approach to study the differential function of neurons of the same class that are located near each other within the brain. The tapered optical fiber has overcome this limitation. Ian Oldenburg, a graduate student in my lab, placed a tapered optical fiber within the brain of a mouse performing a simple task and directed light out different windows on the fiber to selectively activate spatially separated groups of neurons in the brain. He was able to show the differential activation and function of GABAergic interneurons located in different layers of the cerebral cortex, as well as selective activation of spiny projection neurons in the striatum. Thus, the tapered optical fiber in combination with optogenetics has proven to be an easy to use and powerful tool to study the function of genetically and now spatially identified neurons within the mammalian brain.